Welcome to Busan, a beautiful port city located in South Korea, where I spent a few days during summer. Spend most of my time eating delicious food and tanning on the beach. <laughs> Talking about the beach, this is Hyundai Beach, a very popular spot where you can admire the city view and go for a swim. And this is me running towards the blue waves until I realized it was very, very, very cold. So I came back looking less triumphant, but galumphing still. Yes, galumph is a word. Now we are moving on to a Buddhist temple called Hedong Yongoksa. Um, it was built on a cliff by the shore, so you can see the waves crashing on the rock as you meditate or pray. The temple was built in the 14th century during the Goryeo dynasty. It was destroyed by the Japanese and rebuilt in the 30s. Originally, it was dedicated to the goddess of compassion and it is truly a sight to see if you happen to be visiting Busan I highly recommend you check it out these little figurines are hidden everywhere in between rocks and I thought they were really cute I believe they're supposed to be little monks studying you probably can't tell This temple is still a place of worship. Many Koreans come here to pray. And I was amazed by the details on the walls, the delicate paintings, the colorful ornaments. So here are a few close-ups of these ornaments. Now we are moving on to street food and this one in particular is a Busan specialty you can see here a variety of fish cakes and I chose the elegantly named cheese splash cheese bang bang. and I, it was amazing although it should be noted that I love cheese and that is an understatement still this is very And here we are in Kamchon. It is a cultural village known for its twisting alleys and colorful houses. It was actually recently restored by the government and it became very popular. As you can see, the place is highly photogenic. <laughs> Originally, Kamchon was a town built by the Korean war refugees in the 50s. There's actually a little museum that explains it. We walk down these beautiful stairs called the stairs where you can see the stars because there are so many steps that you get dizzy climbing them up and you start seeing stars. So, as you can see, the village is filled with murals, paintings, and odd looking houses. If you go to Busan, you must venture in Kamchon village and bring your camera because it is a very special place with street art, nice cafes, cute shops. I just loved everything there. I think I <laughs> filmed about everything, but there's so much more. <laughs> mm. 
So, talking about shops, we went to a few boutiques. My friend Manon was on a quest for souvenirs, and my other friend Monica was on the hunt for a handmade postcard. I myself played the tourist part and look around, hoping to find something precious and unique. I was hoping to find something, <laughs> something unique and cheap. <laughs> We are now in a cafe with a view, with a wonderful view, as you can see, called Shinki Cafe. This is an iced cinnamon macchiato. Korea is the best place for coffee after Italy and. And if you are wondering why I'm wearing the same clothes, it's simply because I filmed all of that in a day and I spent the rest of my vacation lazing in the sun. This place right here is Chagachi Market, famously known for its fresh seafood stalls. We had a typical seafood dish and it was delicious. It was Monica Street, so we ate, 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 and ate, and ate, and ate, and ate, until we were completely full. And the side dishes, or banchan in Korean, were succulent as well. I especially liked the kimchi, which was a little bit sweet, not too spicy. Manon had a liking for the white marinated pickles. And Monica was, hmm, she was dreaming of soy chicken wigs. Wings, <laughs> which we ended up having two hours later. We just spent our time eating. <laughs> This odd shop right here is one of the best finds in Busan. It is located in a building called the Vintage Museum, I believe. Um, it is filled with treasures from the 80s, odd looking dolls, colorful puppets. Japanese toys and sweets, plushies of all size and shapes, mirror, vintage jewelry. I actually ended up buying a pair of plastic pink heart shaped earrings. And in the shop next door, I found this cute round color Bordeaux top for less than $2. I really love that shop. I wish I could just buy it. next stop is on the top of the Busan Tower which is about 120 meters high and from up there you can see the whole city with the docks, the giant malls, the beaches and the sea. I hope that you appreciated this short Busan tour in my company and given the opportunity you will visit